Hi guys, Ben Kubra. All right, I'm gonna go through some core activation, some stretching. We've obviously been sitting down a little bit more than what we're used to. So this is gonna help us open up our, our hips, activate our core, get a little bit more stability in our hips as well. So we're stronger in the hips. So when we're running, cycling, swimming, we're able to activate and hold a stronger position for a, a longer period of time to avoid those little niggling issues around your, your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings etc so going to go through some range of different exercises to help you activate your core and hold that stability opening up the hips then we're going to go through a couple of uh, exercises that you would find in generally yoga or pilates and it just helps you activate your transverse abdominis which is those that deep core muscle and then we're going to go through some breathing exercises so just follow along the video i'll start um going through and just showing you some range of motions and how to activate hips to keep our, ourselves more mobile so the first one is just opening up the hips you're having your legs at 90 degrees and you're reaching over that front knee so you should feel it through your lower back and your glutes and just really trying to stretch it through keeping both feet down both knees on the ground and trying to keep that hip on the ground as well so you're just stretching over that knee and you're just going to hold that and just keep stretching it through And then you can just twist around a little bit further just so you get a, the hip and the lower back in a different angle. And just make sure you keep breathing through it, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And just stretching and holding it, trying to stretch that a little bit further. And then we're just gonna swap sides. So again, knees at 90 degrees, keep them bent, both knees on the ground. And you're just reaching forward over that front knee. And just breathe and stretch. Keep holding it through. And then again, just twisting around a little bit more just so you're getting it at a different angle. And just breathe and stretch. And you just feel a little bit more in that lower back. Come back up now. You should feel those hips open up a little bit more. All right, now into another one where you can use your foot up against a corner of a, a couch or a wall and you're just using it as a bit of support, but we're bringing that knee up to stretch the quad and the hip flexor, but you're pulling it away from yourself. You're not bringing it up to your butt, you're trying to push it away. That's why having that bottom foot on a, on a corner of something, just so you got a bit of support so you can open up that hip flexor and push away. So you just keep pulling and breathing and trying to pull it away further and further each time you breathe out. Okay, and then just swapping sides. So you have that bottom foot down, nice and flat, bent at 90 degrees and you're just grabbing your ankle and pulling your leg away from your body so you're feeling that stretch all the way through that front of the quad and the hip flexor and just breathe and try and stretch it further and further each time you breathe out right. now we're just continuing with the opening up the hips just bring that foot nice and flat bring your leg around sitting it on on top of your knee you're going to grip underneath your ankle so you push up and then opposite knee you're going to pull push down so you're just squaring the hips getting the hips nice and level and you just feel that abductor hip flexor and lower back and just stretch out and just pulling each away from each other trying to square those hips lean forward a little bit so you can just get it more into your lower back you just find this helps hit the hips in a different angle and holding and then just swapping sides so there's a few different ways you can do this exercise but I'll find this one just can really help open up your hips just on a different angle but I'll go through a few more as well just make sure you breathe and stretch through So 
So that's one way. The next way is getting into that same position again, but you're gonna have that hand at the back. So you've got a bit of support, so you can really apply that pressure in that twist. So you really, you know, you can really push that opposite knee forward. So you're pulling your ankle away, pushing that opposite knee down, and just using that hand for a bit of support to just stretch out that lower back into your glute. And swapping sides, same again. That hand at the arm at the back, just so you got that support to use as a lever and stretch around. Quads open up and the hips. All right, now we're going to go in through what they call the pigeon stretch. So you bring that leg all the way around, dropping your knee down underneath your body, sliding your leg back, slide that opposite leg back, lifting up a little bit and just stretching over over that front leg. So you want to bend at 90 degrees, and you just got to make sure that that back leg is slid all the way down straight and just stretching over that knee just feeling that stretch through your hips and your glutes really gets right into your glute medius and then there's actually a few ways you can do it so you can actually come straight on like I did in the first stretch or you can push across so we're gonna push across To my right so right on the right side of the knee a little bit more so you're just getting in a different angle and just same again just pushing those hips down so you can really stretch it out and now you come to the left so on the left side of the knee and just stretching forward so just so you're getting that glute in a different angle and just breathe and keep trying to stretch through now we just swap legs so swing that knee around, down on the ground, and just sliding that back leg back, and you're just trying to push those hips all the way as low as you can to the ground. Push your hips down, and we're going to start with going forward, straight forward, and just keep trying to push your hips down further and further as you can. And every time you breathe, try and stretch it through. Set. Now we're just going to swing around to the right, right side of the knee and just keep pushing those hips down, breathe and stretch. Pushing down. And now to the other side and just breathe and stretch. You're just holding for around between 10 and 20 seconds. work so you're just gonna feel like you can just hit that glute in a different point and really keep focusing on the hips all right now we're gonna work on some glute activation so you bring that knee up 90 degrees so imagine you're like a sprinter about to take off the blocks imagine you same bolt and so you keep your front foot nice and flat getting into that sprint so you keep your shoulders nice and set Hands just outside, just in line with your shoulders. Make sure your feet are nice in line with your shoulders as well. And then from that back leg, you're just driving from the hips. Push those hips up so you're really feeling it through the insertion where your glute and your hamstring meet. So you're keeping your front leg nice and flat from the heel. So you're pushing from the heel, pushing up and trying to stretch out through the glute and the hamstring. 
So that back leg is just for support and balance to keep you nice and stable, but that leg that you're focusing on is that front leg where you're pushing up from your heel all the way into the hips. So you feel that glute. And you just swap it over. You might be able to see it a little bit better on this, on this side. But yeah, keep nice and set, nice and flat, and pushing from the heel, driving from the front leg, getting that hip up in the air, feeling it through the glute and the hamstring insertion. Keep pushing up. Just keep pushing and pushing. So that's called the sprinter's stretch. All right, now, so very similar, this one's called the Spider-Man. Now you're getting yourself sort of set up very similar to what the sprinter stance was, but you're tucking your elbow behind your knee. So as you drive up from your heel, pushing your hips up in the air, using your elbow to push your knee out. So you're gonna get a little bit more stretch in your abductor. So same, similar position, lifting from the hips, but you're pushing your, your elbow out. So that's pushing your knee out. So you get a little bit more of a stretch in your abductors as well as your glutes. So you just keep pushing that knee, pushing out. And just breathe and keep pushing through. Okay. Then you swap sides. You might be able to see it a little bit better. So you just have plant your hand right next to your ankle, tucking your elbow in behind your calf basically, and your knee, and just drive and push out. So you're just pushing it out just to add that extra element of the stretch. Stretching through. All right. Okay, now we're gonna open up the hips stretch out the hip flexors and the quads so you're coming into like a lunge bring that make sure your feet are nice and line knees are nice and line with the hips and we're just going to stretch up so you're just pushing forward make sure your foot's nice and flat make sure the knee still stays behind the toes and you just put your arms up in the air stretching out and you're just opening up the hip flexors just stretching forward rolling the hips and just opening up, just big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, swap it over. So you're getting that nice lunge position and just really opening up. So you're just pushing forward, rolling those hips all the way forward. So you're just stretching out that hip flexor, but having your arms up, stretching out further, you're just getting it a little bit higher and opening, allowing your body to open up and just breathe and stretch. Okay, so now we're gonna keep in that lunge position, back to the other leg, and now we're just gonna rotate through. So you're putting your opposite hand on your knee and rolling, stretching through. So you still wanna hold that stretch forward with the hip, but you're just pulling across your body. So you're stretching out your lower back, but you're also getting your glutes and hip flexors. Just hitting it again at a different point. And then you go the other way, so you, inside of your knee this time, pulling away, so you're gonna get a little bit more into your abductors again, and just twisting, pulling away. So you're just swapping sides. Just keep breathing. All right, now swapping sides, and again, so, Keep that push forward, opposite hand on knee and twist through. So you're twisting around, really stretching out and just breathe and hold it, trying to stretch it a little bit further each deep breath out. And roll, rotate it through. So you're pulling away now, so you're opening up your hips in your abductors and stretching through.
Okay, work now. We've been working the adductors. Now we're just going to continue that and we're going to go into a side lunge. So just sliding that foot all the way out. Make sure your foot's all the way flat. Just keep that nice alignment. And we're just pushing down, stretching out. So you're really pulling it away. So you're really getting that stretch to the abductor. So you're pushing down and keeping that, keeping that foot nice and flat out to the side and stretching out. Breathe and keep stretching through. Laying, putting that pressure down. And we just swap legs. So make sure your foot's nice and flat and just pushing from the hip down. So you're really stretching through those abductors. Good, all right. Okay, now we're just gonna open up, stretch out the ankles and open up the quads. So you're just coming back and leaning and just every time you breathe out, just try and lean back a little bit further. Make sure your toes are pointed nice and flat. You can put your hands down on your ankles just so you can add that extra pressure and you're just lowering your body down, stretching out your quads, hip flexors and the ankles. And just breathe and stretch. And just rolling forward. Just the more you do it, the more flexible you're gonna get. But it's really good range for the ankles. Now, right now, we're just gonna go into some some core and some lower back. So you're just sliding your body through, hands down out in front, and just pushing through from your hips, just stretching out that lower back. Just breathe and just keep pushing through. And now you're keeping your shoulders nice and set, tuck your elbows in, make sure your toes are pointed flat and just dropping the hips and just rolling through. Just try and, if you can, try and hover a little bit. And just stretching out so you're not fully laying on the ground quite. You're just trying to hover a little bit, but you're just opening up and stretching out through that lower back and the hips. Keep your shoulders set and arching your neck back just so you can really open up. And just breathe. Now swinging back through, pushing your, pushing your glutes all the way through and hands out in front again, just stretching. Just breathe and keep pushing through. And shoulders set. Elbows tucked in and dropping, swinging back through again and stretching up that neck, breathing in, breathing out. Stretch, we're going to go through again, pushing through. It's really good exercise to focus on that breathing stretch out and same again swing all the way back through arching up shoulders set and just trying to stretch that a little bit further each time breathing in breathing out all right now staying in that prone position on all fours and we're just going to get some rotation in your back so you're just gonna roll your hips up, arching your back. Make sure you're following it up with your neck so your whole body is, is making that big arch. So hands and knees in line with your shoulders and just keep your shoulders set, elbows tucked and rolling up. Make sure your toes are nice and flat, not pointed. And arching up, and just feel that stretch all the way through your lower back. And then you're gonna roll through into a ball now. So tucking your chin into your chest and rolling into a ball, rolling your hips. So making that ball. And just breathe and stretch. Make sure you keep your shoulders set and elbows tucked in. 
and then rolling back through now, up, making that arch. Make that big arch in your back and lifting your neck up so you can just stretch it out. And just staying nice and relaxed with your breathing, rolling back through into a ball. And back up. Arching through again. And roll back through. Now we're just going to stretch out your shoulders a little bit. So you're going to hold that position again in the plank and you're going to slide your hand underneath your body and lean forward, sliding the opposite arm all the way up and over and just applying that pressure on your shoulder and you're feeling that stretch all the way through your shoulder and your lat and your tricep. And just keeping your body nice and straight just having that hand right in underneath the body and just breathe and stretch through and you'll feel your, your shoulder, your lats really get a good stretch and then come back up, swapping sides and you can make it a little bit easier if you want to bring your knees up and just continue that stretch that's just what makes it a little bit easier if you're a little bit too tight in your shoulders. Back in through, so now we're just swapping sides. Threading that, that hand all the way underneath and sliding the opposite arm up, straight up in line with your shoulders. And for the easier version, yeah, just bending your knees keeping your hips up and you're just pushing down and just stretching out through your lats and, and your shoulders. So you can change your different angle a little bit as well just to apply different pressure on it at different points it's just so you can get a different stretch. All right, now sitting up on, on your knees and just leaning back again, just stretching out your ankles and your quads a little bit and just bring the arm around arm up over and pull across your body so you're stretching out that shoulder that lat and just breathe and stretch it through so shake it out and swap sides and you're stretching out your lat and your shoulders now holding yourself up nice and tall and just leaning back and just stretching back now and just keep stretching out through those hips and those quads. Make sure your toes are pointed. And just breathe, rolling those shoulders out now. Breathe in, breathe out, rolling through. Really getting that range in those shoulders. And shake it off, going the opposite way now. Rolling it through, rolling out. Just getting that range in that shoulders, just as so you've probably been seated, seated for a little bit longer, just so we can loosen up and open up through our chest. Now we're going to go through some breathing exercises, guys. So really just want to stimulate the brain, get the oxygen all the way through into the, into the muscles where it's needed. But just nice for rela relaxation and just going to go through. Just follow along, we're just going to do some big deep breaths. So, you want to basically go two seconds in, two seconds out. Then, we're going to do some power breath, breaths at the end. But we're just really just trying to get nice and relaxed and put our, our mind in a, in a deeper state of relaxation. It's really trying to fill up your body with oxygen. might want to close your eyes and, and use it as a bit of meditation but just deep breaths in in through your nose and out through your mouth two three seconds in two three seconds out 
really want to make sure you're getting right into your, deep into your stomach so you're really feeling your stomach fill up with oxygen and then deplete so we don't want to be doing any shallow breathing we want to make sure it's nice and big deep breaths breathing in breathing out big deep breaths in big deep breaths out Big deep breaths in, big deep breaths out. In through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. In and breathe out. Big deep breaths. Really feel your body nice and relaxed. Now we're gonna go into some power breathing. So we're gonna do five big deep breaths in. So in through your nose five times and then out through your mouth five times. Really loading your body up with oxygen this time. And we're just gonna do a few rounds of this. So breathing in. Breathing in through your nose. Hope that helped you nice and relaxed guys. Just get into a nice comfortable position and just keep that breathing nice and relaxed. But hope you found that really useful and really helped you relax and open up the hips and gave you some good exercise that you can do on a daily routine or you want to do a couple times a week. Really good to do maybe mid morning or mid afternoon just to break up your day since we're gonna be sitting at home a lot more. And also if you wanna do it after after a hard session or after an exercise session just to give yourself that time thank you very much guys i hope you got something out of it i hope you enjoyed it thank you